Okay, so this was the, the banner. And I will promote this back to a promote the background layer so I can now enlarge my canvas to 1000 by 500 so we have more room okay and I'll use the pick tool just to make it larger so Julie wanted to put some text inside here but as she said she can't draw a smooth curve. That is very common. And if you wanted to create a curve, you would have to do it with the pen tool. And that's probably what you tried. The problem is when you try to draw with freehand, you have the tracking here. And the tracking is by default set to 10 which is way too low. I would say that if you are to draw something, I'm going to use something large so we can see. So if you have the tracking set to 10 and you try to draw, it's like it's not smooth at all. One reason is that if you show the notes, there's, well, this one was not so bad, but usually you have a ton of notes, which makes everything kind of uneven. Now, if you increase the tracking to about 50 or more, by drawing, you will get fewer notes. I don't know if you can see them. Maybe I'll change color. Okay, see? One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's like much fewer nodes, so it makes it easier if you want to modify them. So at that point, you can go to the edit mode and you can adjust the placement, and you can see it's not as bad as if you had. 35 or 50 nodes. And once you have those nodes there and you have your path, then you can add your text. So at this point, you can add your text. Let's load the text tool. And okay, this has some texture. Let's remove that texture. So if I want now to have add text, I'll change the font. I can change, I can center it. Of course, this is way too small. I'll increase maybe to 72. I can find that my letters are a bit spread apart. I would like to have them closer. I can go in more options and the kerning here is at 100. I'll go to zero. And mostly what I want is have it offset so I can increase my offset. Let's try 50 and it goes up. And you can adjust like that, depending on the size of your text, the size of your banner, or whatever shape you have. And once you're happy, you accept. And then in the Layers palette, you have to hide the path. Don't remove it. If you remove that path, your text will become straight. So that's one way to do it if you were to draw it. Let's just undo the text and I'll remove the, the line. The other way would be to, again, let's make it 
an outline in yellow and using the pen tool. And then instead of drawing along that path, use the drawing line, drawing a straight lines and make it make sure that connect segments is checked. And then you go to the various curve parts. So I start, this is the bottom. I might go in the middle, on top, and at the end. That's all. That's all the nodes I need. Now, going to change the mode to edit, I select everything, right click, node type, and symmetric. And you can see how it's already looking close to what you needed. Here at the start, it tends to have a second node. I'm not sure why. So I right click, edit, and merge. So I have only one now. And I can just play with that little arrow. Get something here also. Get here. And now I can follow that path. So I think we might want to look into a full master class on vectors. There are already uh, three of them inside the membership. Uh, one is called Playing with Vectors. That's a very old one, but the vector tool has not changed at all since then. I have. Uh, further vectors and vectors in action. So those are three classes that cover some of the vector tools and settings and how to manipulate them. Hey there, I hope you found this information helpful. If you're curious to dive deeper and explore more about PaintShop Pro, we've got a wealth of resources waiting for you in our membership area. There, you'll find in-depth classes, workshops, Q&A sessions, and much more to help you enhance your PaintShop Pro and digital scrapbooking skills. Feel free to check it out. The link is in the video description below. Thanks for watching and see you in the campus.